responsible and so in keeping the faith what they did was that they brought themselves to a point where they need a remedy of how to survive preparing themselves for the coming of jesus and so when paul was writing to them the first thing he told them is that if you must survive this faith you must learn to rejoice forevermore that means you must be glad all the time it's a powerful tool that we must learn to rejoice all the time and i want to leave you with this farewell also as a people that in every situation one of the things the devil wants to take away from you is your joy the bible says because you have loved righteousness and hate wickedness so god even your god has anointed you with the oil of gladness above thy fellow one of the true signs that a believer is doing well is joy he has joy he's happy at all the time in fact they can just call you and tell you that your 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 business just crashed some somebody died and it is possible that immediately when you hear such a bad news you'll be willing to rejoice you'll be glad you'll be happy and people wonder why are you happy is because you have seen ahead of time in the midst of calamity you are happy i don't know about here but tinibu is in the west we were from the north they don't like him that much there so when you say tinibu there is this mentality that they have and if you feel it's because tinibu is a robot man even in the days of buari we don't also like buari too so when you say buari there is a mentality it brings but only the believers that know the lord their god that can be strong and do exploit that even in this kind of situation we know that our help does not come from Tinibu or Buari, our help comes from above. So one of the precursors for a believer to survive this time is to learn how to rejoice and understand the joy that comes. Because out of the wealth of that you will joy strength. Another thing he said there was you must learn to always pray without ceasing so you see if you are expecting the coming of the christ you must ensure that you maintain the consistency of prayer without season and sometimes when you study this scripture your problem will be how will i pray without season how because it's not possible how can you pray without season how can you pray without stopping is it possible to pray without stopping is it possible every one of us have something to go and do in fact there is no way you're going to tell me you're going to be praying ba -ba 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 -ba. without stopping it's not possible every time we have a portion for prayer we come and pass no matter what you do if you said 100 hours it will come and pass 1000 hours it will come and pass i read about the moravians they set themselves to pray for 100 years it has come and passed are you getting the point now so how do a believer pray without ceasing and that was the counsel given to us to ensure that we are prepared to welcome the bride praying without ceasing here does not mean that you should pray without stopping it means that you should maintain a lifestyle of prayer i get my point now he's talking about a lifestyle of prayer not praying without stopping you must make prayer your lifestyle prayer should not be one of the things you do once upon a time a believer that pray today i will never pray again till after next month a believer that pray today and he will never pray again till after the next state conference there are people that you don't see them in the house of god until every miracle service why that is somebody that has not valued the lifestyle of this thing so when the bible says you should pray without season it means make prayer your lifestyle you can only do business with god sufficiently well when prayer becomes your lifestyle Part of the way that we wait in preparation for the coming of the christ is to make prayer our lifestyle in fact jesus said i have come upon the face of the earth to bring fire upon the face of the earth how i wish the fire is already burning so he wanted to come to bring fire but he desired he wished that when he come there should be fire already what he was trying to let the people know is that i wish you are sustained in prayer pray without ceasing it doesn't mean that you should pray without stopping but it means that prayer should become your lifestyle that in everything you do prayer should be your first response but many more times prayer is the last thing people always do 
people can go from everywhere looking for every kind of problem when everything failed them they now return back to prayer why prayer was supposed to be the first thing they always do men that do business with god men that maintain and sustain power are men that make prayer their lifestyle so men like daddy babalola he may not want to pray but because prayer has become his lifestyle by default anytime he wake up in the morning he's looking for where to pray and if the house is a distraction he will look for a mountain close by why prayer has become a lifestyle and one thing i realize about prayer is that the more you pray the more you like praying the day you stop it has stopped you can never get used to prayer it's a lie anytime you want to rise in it there will still be an allotment of the flesh trying to beguile you and that is why with that understanding we know that we have to pray with us we have to make it our lifestyle until we become addicted to it at all costs how do you make prayer your lifestyle how number one you must tell yourself that prayer is innocent you know, many of you think prayer is one wicked thing that is trying to suffer you tell yourself prayer is innocent tell your neighbor prayer is innocent prayer has, is very innocent in fact you are the one that you are supposed to be guilty of prayer prayer is on its own you needed him you ran to him and you are back on him it is innocent so when you understand that prayer is innocent we are the one that's supposed to be guilty of it you now know that you are actually the one that has a problem your prayer does not help prayer your prayer help you prayer is nothing you are the one that need it so you beckon upon it so the way you are feeling is hard is hard though no you can allow it to be because it's innocent so when you understand that prayer is innocent you are supposed to be guilty of prayer now you are in the position to now begin to make investment in it intentionally 